against a string so you can see from this figure um, actually this is the total system a piston cylinder device uh, that contains gas and we know the area we know the pressure and the volume so there's everything given initially the gas it was uh, 200 kPa pressure and you know the this it contains the volume is 0 0.5 meter cube so that's that's the you know the volume we know v1 and if we read the question you see the spring is placed like this so it is actually tossing the piston but uh, not exerting any force on it so it is a linear spring and initially uh, it's the spring constant is given 150 you can see the value here this k it is the spring constant and if you see it is actually tossing the piston but not exerting any force if we transfer the heat uh, to the system uh, actually you see this is actually the heat transfer happening so now heat is transferred to the gas and causing the piston to rise and compress the spring until the volume inside the cylinder doubles so that's important so we are putting um, some heat into this gas so that will definitely expand the volume and then it will rise the you know this piston isn't it so it will it will just go up it will go up like this yeah so that means when it will go up this linear um, this, this spring it will you know what will happen it will compress so how long it will happen so you see it will compress the spring until the volume inside the cylinder becomes doubles so this volume it is now um, beyond equal 0 0.5 so it will be double so until this uh, you know it will compress the spring will compress so what we need to calculate is we need to determine the final pressure so you know the pressure initially it is 200 so when um, you know uh, this this uh, spring is it, when it is compressing then you know the pressure will change so we need to calculate the final pressure so initially for a stage one it is our initial process it is 200 so we need to calculate what is the final pressure we need to calculate the total work done by the gas and we need to calculate the friction of this work done which is against spring the uh, you know the against the spring to compress so that's actually the problem and here I believe you guys understand the problem what is happening I tried to explain the problem at the very beginning so what we will do for this problem we will write down two assumptions so the first assumption is you know we discussed previously um, different uh, theories so here we will consider this is you know a quasi equilibrium process okay So it is a quasi equilibrium process, and the you know other one is it is given. This spring is linear, so the spring is linear in the range of interest. So I can just write spring is linear. So that's our uh, you know the assumptions. So now what we will do? We will first solve the problem. We will calculate the you know the final pressure. So if we want to calculate the final pressure, let's you know do this drawing look if you look at this case it is a PV diagram this is the horizontal axis is P this is the volume P so initially if we consider this it is kind of you know a rectangle so this is the initial stage of stage 1 and now the volume will expand isn't it so when it is uh, the initial stage the pressure was 200 so this is actually the pressure and now when you're putting uh, you know when this this piston it is you know just rising that means what I said it will uh, you know compress this 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 is spring so that means the pressure will increase here so it is a linear spring so what we said the increase of the pressure is kind of a linear uh, increase and let's like say this is actually the end of the process where this volume it is V1 so this volume will be 2 V1 the total volume okay so where the process will stop so that's actually the you know uh, we say the process two and this is process one so what we got from here guys uh, we got this 
schematic. Uh, this is in the initial, you know, uh, the volume. And look, if we multiply, so we said we will run it until the volume becomes double. So if we multiply by 2, it will be actually 0 0.1. So look here, this is actually 0 0.1. So it is the initial volume, it is the end volume, the law at the end of the process. So what we need to do, we need to calculate the, you know, the pressure, the final pressure. Okay. So, sorry. So we need to calculate the final pressure. So what we will do, guys, um, we'll try to solve this problem. Let's say this is, uh, this is the first part of this problem. We're going to calculate the pressure. So what do we know? I will try to, you know, you know draw some flowchart for this problem. We know actually pressure, it is equal force over area. So we know this. Here uh, we can easily calculate the area. Okay, so area we can calculate. But area area is given, the cross-sectional area of the piston, it is given 0.25, so it is given. So we know this area, but what we don't know, we don't know the force. So what we can do is, we can calculate the force. Okay, the force which is applied by the linear spring to its final stage. So we know the formula to calculate the force, it is spring constant and the displacement. Here, x is displacement. Okay, x is displacement. So what we don't know, guys, we know the, the spring constant, but we don't know the displacement. So now, what we need to do, we need to calculate the spring constant, x. So how we can calculate the spring constant? The spring constant formula is the rate of change of the volume over the area. Okay, so that we need to calculate. And um, we know the, the volume for the final state, but we actually need to the total volume. That means the at the end of this test two, it is two V1. So that's actually the total flow chart for this problem, guys. If we want to solve this problem, that means the first part of this problem. So we need to calculate the volume at first, then we'll calculate displacement, then we'll calculate the force, and then we'll get the pressure. So it is the pressure for the final state, and then finally we need to just sum both pressure. So if we start um, this process, so you see the volume, the volume V2, it will be 2 V1, so that means 2 into 0 0.5, that means it is 0 0.1 meter cube. So we got the volume. Now calculate this displacement. So uh, let me write it down. It is displacement. Displacement x equal a delta v and a. So delta v means the change of the you know volume. So that means v2 minus v1 over a. What is v2? v2 is um, 0 0.1, v1 is 0 0.05, area is 0 0.25. I told you in the question it is given the you know cross sectional area of the piston is 0 0.25. So it will be, you know, um, if we just simplify this, it will be 0.2 meter. So displacement x equal 0.2 meter. So now we will calculate, you know, the, 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 the force. So now write it down. The force, it is actually the force which is applied by the linear spring. So f it is equal, uh, you know, x and the k spring constant. The spring constant is given. Um, you know, in this problem, it's spring constant given 150 k you know, newton per meter into the the displacement 0.2 you know meter. Okay, so we will get the force. It is 100. Um, so it force will be 30 kilo newton. So once we got this force, we will easily get the pressure. Okay. So pressure equal force over area. So the pressure, we should write, you know, the pressure at the end of the state, okay? So, you know, the pressure, it is uh, P, it is equal F over A. So F is 30 kilo newton and the area is 0 0.25 meter square. So it will be 120 kPa. So this is the pressure and this pressure is actually, you know, at the end of the, you know, we got this pressure. This is actually applied by the spring on the gas state. So without the spring, the pressure, if we don't have any spring, you know, the pressure should be, you know, 
uh, let me just go back here if we do not have this spring here the pressure should remain constant 200 but when we have this pressure when this piston you know it is going off that means you know uh, initially without this uh, you know spring the pressure is 200 but but pressure will rise under this if under the effect of this spring if the spring is here then pressure will rise and it will be this 200 plus you know this 120 so that will be the final pressure so what we can say at the end of the final state okay at the end of the final state the pressure pressure you know pressure at the end of final state it will be you know p equal 200 kpa plus 120 kpa so it will be 320 kpa so that's actually the solution the pressure at the you know the final state now um i believe you understand this and we will solve some similar problem during the we will definitely solve the same problem during the lecture so now the total work done by the gas you know when we will calculate the total work done by the gas the thing is uh, we can use we can simply use the pv diagram okay this is you know the, our process curve and if we calculate the area under this process curve that actually the work done from the theories so work done is um, you know here we can write the work done it is actually equal to the area which area the area actually under the process curve so this is a shape like a trapezoidal so trapezoidal objects when it is a trapezoidal object uh, we can calculate the area by using this formula so area of a trapezoidal thing is it is you see this is the final term here this haze it is actually you know the the altitude or you can say in other word um, you can say this is actually the you know the um, the change of the volume okay and a b a b it, this is it is the b a is the you know uh, the long base b is the short base we will try to correlate uh, with our problem so keep in mind in this information it is a plus b over 2 into haze so now um, if we want to calculate the the you know the work done so what i said work done w it is equal to the area which is just uh, under the process curve so what we can say from that formula you know it is a plus b over 2 into haze here i should write down a is the actually the initial pressure you see it was the um the base okay let me write it down then i will go back so it is initial pressure and b you know the the final pressure okay b is the final pressure and hex it is it is the you know the the volume change the change of you know the change of volume look from the theories um it was kind of um yeah so let me go back here if from the theories it was the a is, is the long base that's actually the initial pressure 200 and it was the short base the final pressure 320 and this is the change of the volume we will uh, apply this formula here you will see the initial pressure is 200 the final pressure is 320 over 2 and the change of the volume it is you know initi the v2 is 0.1 and it is 0 0.05 so e2 will be 13 kilojoule this is actually the work done by the uh, system what we can do guys we can apply another approach to solve this problem so um we had a objects like this let's say we had the objects like this this is system a and it was uh, you know if you can remember the, it was system 2 right we had the pv diagram if we go back to the previous slide it was kind of like that 
So what we can do, we can we said the area for this. So it was a trapezoidal. But separately, you can see this is a rectangle, this is a triangle. So if you calculate the area of this rectangle triangle and then you can sum these two, then it will be, you know, the same thing, 13 kilojoule. You know what I mean? This total object is kind of a trapezoidal. So I used the formula for trapezoidal. But if you used, this is a, uh, you know, rectangle, this is a triangle. So for this problem, actually, for, you know, rectangle, the, the area will be, you know, the pressure variation into the, you know, the delta V. For triangle, it is, you know, half of B A H. B is the, you know, the um, height of the triangle. Actually, the pressure difference. Sorry, H is the height of the triangle, which is the pressure difference, and B is the base. Anyways, I will solve the you know the last part of this problem. So, last part of this problem is uh, you know the friction of this work done against the spring. Okay, the friction of this work done against the spring. Look, uh, actually the work here it is we can divide I already said as a rectangle and triangle. So the work represented by the rectangular area, this is actually, it is done against the spring. This is done against the spring, like this. And the work represented by this triangular area, it is done, you know, sorry, when it is rectangle, it is done against the spring, okay, uh, sorry, against the piston, uh, I think I did a mistake. So when the work done during this, uh, rectangle it is done against the piston but this is the piston I said it is a spring this is the piston and when it was the cut you know this triangular work this work done actually against the spring so we need to calculate the work done against the spring it is actually for this triangular area you see it is against the spring so this is the work done for this triangular area that means we only need to calculate the area of this triangle under this process curve right so um, what we can uh, do guys we can just write it down here so this is part C so work done against the spring so we can say W is spring and what I said it was a triangle of like this so we need to calculate the area so it is half of B haze so you can say it is half B haze B it is actually the base of the triangle. We can say base of the triangle. Or in other words, you can say it is actually the volume difference. The volume difference. Okay. And hence, it is actually the, you know, the height. It is height of triangle. Height of triangle. This is actually the pressure difference the pressure difference all right so here um, half so we said B is the you know volume difference what is the volume guys you know it is um, point you know uh, haze is the uh, okay B is the pressure difference so yeah we can substitute it is 0 0.1 minus uh, 0 0.05 and the haze, haze is the, you know, the pressure difference and pressure is 320 minus 200. So if you substitute everything, if we simplify this, it will be 3 of 3 kilojoule. So that's actually the work done against the spring. So when you will get a problem and it will ask, okay, calculate the work done. So what you need to do is you need to find out the area under the process curve so here we just calculated the area under this it is the process curve so we calculated that area for this triangle so i believe you understand this problem it is quite a lengthy problem and we'll discuss it during the lecture so that's it